Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the general virtual environment. Uh, still sorry night themed, mainly because I think that it's fairly interesting. Today I wanted to give you an update, especially in terms of the progress that I've made with the Digital Museum piece. So I'm going to launch that real quick. Let's see how this plays out. So, yeah, I've been using Moonrider recently, mainly just because I think that it's fun. Uh, basically, I'll load the environment and you'll see the Digital Museum progress. I think there's been quite a lot, especially in terms of what I've been able to get at least put into place for the Digital Museum. So I'm going to join the room, allow the microphone, and enter the WebXR environment. Now, so as you can see, still standard layout change, nothing major, especially in terms of features. But over on this side, I've added a music option, which pulls in a YouTube, YouTube video, which is rather impressive, at least in terms of how it works. Uh, it basically is using a web page as a digital audio source. Uh, you have the options for re reverting a few options, volume, uh, playback, etc. I would play it, but unfortunately I'm not allowed to, mainly because of copyright reasons, uh, because this is a YouTube-based video. This is a song that Caleb Swift enjoys, so I've placed it as a music option. Uh, another element that I've created is the Tattoo Wing, which is a completely separate environment, detached from the Paintings Wing, which showcases Caitlin Swift's tattoos. So we'll load that in a separate frame. So in doing so, you'll see quite a few interesting setups, at least in terms of how I've structured this specific wing as a different environment. There's more objects. It all loads within its own relative frame. And we'll join the room the same way as which we would join any other room. So as you can see, I've, struct I've structured the floor layout in a different fashion. Uh, I'll reset the view here. Uh, so. The floor is different in terms of a color choice. I think uh, dark purple matches well with the black canvas walls. Uh, there is also a music option, which I'm not going to play due to copyright reasons, but you can check it out yourself. I think it, it would be fairly interesting. Uh, this pulls in the title card from her website, which is useful. And thus, in display, all of the tattoos that she's been creating since March of 2021. And in terms of a gallery form, there's quite a lot to pull from, especially in terms of seeing her progression from her initial tattoo designs all the way forward to the things that she's been working on in the last few days and or weeks. So you can check it out yourself and you can see quite an interesting selection of artwork, especially in terms of on human skin, which is fairly interesting, especially in terms of the design works that she's selected based off of her interests. Um, and in doing so, you can see quite a bit in terms of just her progress as an artist in terms of digital tattoo work. Uh, not digital tattoos, but this is a digital representation of her tattoo work. For most tattoo artists, they have a wall of their flash designs, which is basically how they design the artwork before they place it on skin. This is more akin to that, but in terms of an actual representation of a portfolio, which I think is fairly interesting, especially in terms of seeing the progression over a linear time frame. Now, again, this is a pretty small scale update. It, it took a lot just to even get to this phase because I had to restructure the design for the floor layout and convert quite a few in terms of the scale for some of the object work. But it does allow for a lot of expandability, and I think there could be quite a lot that could be done with this. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be a lot of more content coming soon. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.